Bagat um, Kahirluk, I'd like to welcome the publication of this uh, social welfare miscellaneous bill. And, um, you know, thinking back to budget 2015, last October, there's a number of obviously very welcome initiatives that took place, whether it be the tax cuts, um, the, the, the cuts to the USC, or the increase in the threshold at which people start paying them, the increase in the child benefit and the living alone allowance. And the first part of, I suppose, putting money back in people's pockets and obviously the plan to, to, to do the same in, in Budget uh, 2016. Uh, but also the, the scheme that was uh, announced at that time, uh, the Back to Work uh, Family Dividend Scheme, I think is, is a very welcome development and I welcome the publication of this legislation to put that uh, in train. Uh, the Department and the changes in the Department of Social Protection from being a department that just pays money to a department that encourages, incentivizes putting people back to work. That's a very welcome change that has taken place uh, over the last number of years. Um, and, and th this particular dividend is about incentivizing work. It's about acknowledging that, you know, the transition to work isn't always easy. There are added costs, whether it be childcare, whether it be um, costs of getting to work or whatever else. And it's about giving, acknowledging that those that are on social protection uh, of some type, that they need a, a little bit extra to, to, to push, to, to, to help them along the way of getting back to work. Uh, and certainly, obviously, the, this government has a strong track record of, of, of supporting in, in job creation, some 90,000 new jobs, and a very ambitious target for, for this year ahead. And already, been, 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 um, we've seen some positive developments in terms of job creation in many different sectors. Some, um, the, 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 the plan for some 40,000 new jobs this year. Uh, last year, the unemployment rate was 12%. Was, was Today, it's 10.1%, uh, still too high, but certainly going in the right direction. And when we came into government, some 15%. So I think this new role of the Department of Social Protection of uh, assisting job seekers uh, to, to get back to work and supporting people who were able to work um, uh, to, 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 get, uh, to get work, and I certainly welcome this. The uh, scheme itself will, uh, you know, will, uh, will allow people to retain an element of their social uh, welfare payment uh, when they receive for the children up to two years uh, of age, and the dividend uh, will be available to recipients of a number of social welfare schemes, including the Job Seekers Benefit, Job Seekers Allowance, the Transitional Job Seekers Arrangement, and the One Parent Family. Uh, payment and also will be uh, will, 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 will people who are on community training uh, schemes such as uh, RSS or TUS or Gateway will also be facilitated uh, in this and I'd like to support the comments of uh, Deputy Paul Connaughton uh, that he that he has highlighted just prior to me. In order to qualify for the dividend, you must be 66 years of age under 66 years of age, have qualifying children and be habitually resident in the state. I must have been receiving the payment for at least um, 12 months in total, at least six months in the last year before claiming the dividend, and the time spent on education, training and, uh, and uh, supported employment will also qualify towards satisfying that 12 months. It will be paid for a period of two years as long as the payment is not in receipt uh, of another payment. I think that's a very important initiative. It will be paid at a maximum standard weekly rate of €29.80. Euro uh, subject to maximum weekly payment of €119 Euro, and um, uh, will we'll operate over a six-year period uh, up to 2021. So I think this is very much uh, a, a welcome uh, initiative. A, another initiative in the bill is the authentication of identity when presenting for payment. Uh, obviously, social welfare fraud, and maybe it's, it's possibly over-exaggerated, but it's certainly uh, an issue that's very close to taxpayers and those that, obviously that contribute. Need regards the repayments of amounts due where fraud is committed. Uh, one uh, case I would like to highlight, or one issue that I would like to highlight, is the distinction between those who purposely go out to defraud at the state and those who fail to disclose something they should have disclosed. And I've come across that in a certain amount of cases where there has been social protection inspections and suddenly somebody, somebody is presented with a bill repayment for failing to disclose something, money they inherited or property they inherited. 
a number of years ago, and I think that distinction needs to be made uh, that, that wh wh where people have failed uh, to disclose something compared to uh, an intent uh, to defraud the state. So overall, I'd like to welcome the initiatives taken uh, in this bill and um, uh, wish the Minister well in the, in the passage of the bill. Thank you.